It's a three burner gas stove. It's not self-igniting, so you do need to turn the knobs and hold them on slightly while you uh, light it with a match or lighter. At the back here, you've got um, more storage for saucepans or whatever you would like to put in there. And you've also got your hot and cold water here. It's a flick mixer and it twists. It doesn't rotate, so just keep that in mind. And down here in this drawer, you've got more storage. Now to pack the kitchen up, take the shelf off. Remember that there's a locating pin here as well, which goes into the body of the camper. And also you need to do up your bungee cord. So just put the shelf into position. bungee cord on. Don't forget to get the shelf bracket. Put that back in the storage bin. Lift up this side shelf, making sure the tap is down. Slide it back. Put the bungee cord on. Make sure this drawer is closed. Lift it up over its stopper. Slide it in. And good, give it a good slam, making sure it's closed. The fridge is kept in the front storage box here. To open it, turn the handles to the right. Lower the door right down by hand. Slide the fridge out. It's a uh, 60 litre Evercool fridge. You can see it's got a fridge compartment here and the freezer section there. Now you can take this blue divider out to make it all fridge or all freezer if you want to. We use these fridges for three reasons. Uh, the first, it has uh, excellent power consumption. It only draws two amps per hour. The second reason, it's about half the weight of steel fridges. And uh, thirdly, they run much quieter. And another good thing is they're actually wider rather than deeper. So it's easier to get things out of the bottom of the fridge. Now over this side here you've got the controls for the fridge, you've uh, got your normal or, or economy mode and here is your uh, ten temperature control and also a thermometer here too. Uh, so uh, to close it up you just put your two latches on there, slide the fridge back in and just note here this is your inlet for your filter and the out filter here as well. And to close it up just pull the door back up and uh, put a bit of pressure on the door just to um, keep that good seal, lock the handles down and it's done. To set up the solar panel, make sure the fridge is out of the compartment. You need to have your solar lanyard ready and also the solar pole which is kept in the pole carrier. Take out the two pins that hold the panel in place. Push the panel back and drop it down out of the cassette. Pull the panel out completely. Now prop it against the camper with the clamp facing up. Get your solar pole and place it into the clamp. Now get the whole panel and pole and drop it into the socket on the front of the camper. Rotate the panel and tube until the bottom clicks into place. Now your wiring harness. Connect it to the plug on the solar panel and then into the plug between the two gas bottles. Articulate the panel to the sun and lock it off in that position for maximum amperage. It can also articulate by spinning the pole just depending on where the sun is at the time. Now you can expect on a normal sunny day about seven and a half amps from it. Uh, when there's rain down to two and on a cloudy day about three to four amps. Now it's an open powered system and it supplies twice the amount of power you'll need.
Remove the 12 volt harness from the panel and also the trailer. Unclip the bottom push down button and lift the whole panel and the pole out of the trailer. Place it against the camper carefully and remove the pole. Now pick up the panel with the glass to the top and the Anderson plug is the last to go in. Engage it in the cassette and slide it away. Locking the pins in and lifting the panel up. And now you just need to put your pole in the pole carrier and the 12 volt harness away as well. To set up the shower, get the key, undo the heater box, just give it a, a push because it has got a good seal on it, lower it down. Next is the cover on the shower controls. Just turn that and pull the cover off. Just pop that away. And now you're ready to attach your shower curtain. To attach the shower curtain now, you've got a Velcro strip here that attaches to the camper. And you've also got this Velcro strip here that goes just a bit further up on the camper. Now make sure you have the white side on the inside and the silver to the outside. Next you'll need a pole that has the shower attachment on it. Just hook it into the canvas. Grab a rope. Put that on there. And just tension it up. Next around this side You'll need another pole. Attach the pole to the tab there and then to the awning of the camper. And you'll just need another rope. Attach that on there as well. Tension on it. And now if you have one person on each side it's much easier to attach the Velcro here the shower compartment. Now if you want to you can put pegs in these tabs here as well and that's the shower set up for the curtain. Now we attach the shower rows. First of all put it into the shower clip there and you have a black washer supplied. Make sure that goes into that there and then you just attach the hose onto the fittings here. Okay, turn your taps on. And now you can turn the shower on just up here. And you can just adjust your temperature down here if need be. And that's the shower done. The great features of the Odyssey aren't limited to just outside. Inside we have some pretty cool accessories too. Start with, under the bed here, we've got this nice big drawer. When you open it, stop it at about in line with the zip on the door. It's great size here, big enough to fit two suitcases in. It has the added advantage though, with someone asleep in bed, you can still access your gear. It's not the stony storage area. Under the bed you have this nice big void. Another good area for putting gear into.